Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser. And today we're going to be reviewing the San Diego Comic Con exclusive NECA Cloaked City Hunter from Predator 2. This is an incredibly cool figure. The City Hunter uh, masked version was one of my favorite NECA figures um, that they've released uh, as far as the Predator line within the last couple years. And uh, this version is just as cool, if not slightly cooler, just for it being a cloaked variant. Uh, same articulation applies as the other version. Uh, as far as accessories, the only thing it does come with that is brand new is a really cool skull trophy. Now, apparently NECA's got plans to release a new skull trophy with uh, several of the other Predator releases coming up here in the future. So you can kind of build your own... Uh, Predator trophy room, which would be very cool uh, to go with all the other Predators. So, um, we'll start off with the figure. The figure himself is about seven and a half, eight inches. These ones are slightly taller uh, with the new articulation than the old Predators were, which is nice. Uh, here, we're actually gonna. Ooh, stand up. Come on, there you go. Gonna tilt the camera up here slightly. There we go. Mm -hmm. Set that off to the side. Uh, he's got articulation in the ankles, rotating there. Uh, double jointed knees. These do have the ball joint hips, the new rotation, which is pretty cool. Uh, ball joint at the waist. It's got uh, ball joints at the wrists. Uh, flexibility at the elbows there, shoulders, same on the other side. The blades on this one were uh, pretty loose, they kind of flop in and out, but if you push them back far enough they, they will kind of stay in place a little bit better. Uh, another thing to note is he does also come with a clear version of the uh, Predator uh, disc blade, which is pretty cool, and the hands are very well designed to hold that, so I'll kind of show you. You kind of have to place his fingers into each specific hole and then press it in there to kind of get it to lock into place, but it holds it pretty well. Um, head is on a ball joint as well. And then on the back you have his uh, uh, the plasma cannon here. This one for some reason, I'm, I'm kind of scared to move it little apprehensive to rotate it all the way down here, but it's kind of stuck almost. I'm not sure if that's a defect or if it's just kind of locked in that position, but uh, the it doesn't seem to want to slide down. On the older Predator models, they actually, or the uh, the other City Hunter, excuse me, it the plasma cannon just slides down to the back here and flips around, which is pretty cool. He does have these little uh, the satchels, which is pretty neat. But that's about it as far as the figure goes. Um, like I said, it just looks cool. This is such a very cool figure, and it goes really well with the uh, the other NECA cloaked predator that was released as a Toys R Us exclusive recently. Uh, same same issue I had with that one applies here. Uh, the white bits that hold each of the joints in are very clearly visible through uh, the clear plastic portions, which is kind of a drawback. But it's white enough that from afar, it's not really that that well. I guess you can't see it, but on display, anyways, it looks fine, so um, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, as far as the skull accessory, there is no articulation on this bad boy. This is not like the other one that had a, a, a jaw on a hinge, it just kind of is molded this one way. Very cool looking though. It's got the hole on there so you could, you know, make a wall and then mount it on there. Maybe NECA even is going to release a, a trophy wall, which would be very cool. Um, they are going to be releasing a, a styrofoam furnace for the Freddy Krueger series. 
So, I don't know, perhaps they're intelligent enough to plan ahead and make a trophy wall. That'd be very cool, though. Hope they do that. But uh, that's that's about it for this figure. Um, runs for about 40 to 50 bucks now, depending on where you get it on eBay. I got mine on eBay um, since I was unable to attend Comic-Con this year, which kind of sucked. But still came away with a couple of the cool uh, NECA exclusive figures, which was nice. So um, I would get it while you can. The San Diego Comic-Con figures uh, tend to jump in price dramatically. Um, it, it may be 30 or 40 bucks now, but it will be uh, like 60 or 70 bucks coming, you know, this winter. So um, the sooner the better for purchasing these guys. But yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions about the figure, just leave them in the comments below and check out some of my other reviews. As always, thanks for watching.